right, so let's get straight into the video. First, I'm going to be using some Lysol to spray down the table and some na napkins to wipe it off. So after spraying, I'm going to use the na napkin and wipe it off. Like, I literally cleaned that desk last night and it was already dirty. So make sure to always clean your area before you start doing something. And then I'm going to set down a paper towel because what we're going to be doing is going to get messy. So I don't want it to fall on the table. So the things that you're going to need are gloves always to make sure you have gloves on when you're working on your product I did spray a little bit of the lysol in my hands to further my sanitation process but here are the things that you're going to need you're going to need some styrofoam bowls or whatever it is that you're using i'm going to be using two spoons one to scoop up the pigment and one to mix you're also going to need a funnel your bottles of what you're going to put in it i think i'm pretty sure these are 10 millimeters bottles um the caps and you're also going to need this hand blender mixer type thing. I got it off of Amazon. I will leave the link down below. Lastly, you're going to need your castor oil and the pigment of your choice. So first, um, by the way, guys, this is the um, lip coloring. So I'm going to show you how to mix kind of like an orange soda type thing. And that's how it looks inside the packet. So we're going to start off by taking our spoon and taking out a little bit of that pigment and um, put it in our bowl. And it all depends on how much you're making. So I'm making two bottles. So this is perfect amount. And then next, we're going to pour in our castor oil. I am going to start off by pouring just a little bit so I can mix it because I don't want the pigment to go all over the place. And then after um, I mix it, like you can see right here, I'm mixing it so the pigment don't go everywhere. I am going to add a little uh, bit more of our castor oil so this is a close-up as you can see it is chunky you could see the uh, pigment in there so right here i am adding more of that castor oil because i need enough so it could fit two of those little bottles on the side and then we're gonna mix it i'm also going to set down a paper towel at the top so i could put the spoon down because i don't want the spoon to just go on my table remember guys we have to be sanitary so i'm gonna set my spoon down and then i'm going to take my little blender mixer thing whatever you want to call it and make sure you're holding the bowl make sure whatever you're using it to make sure you holding whatever you're using because if you don't hold it while mixing it's just gonna splash all over so here's a quick little mixing process enjoy it So here's a close-up of what it looks like after the first first mixing process. When you're making a lip coloring, so you got to make sure everything is well mixed, that you don't have any chunk of pigment in there. So we're going to go back with our mixer, and we're going to keep mixing it until I see and I feel as though there's no more pigment left. So here's a close-up after mixing it a second time. So as you can tell, that's, and there's no pigment in there. Those little things you see are just bubbles from mixing it. So now taking my little bottles and the funnel, I'm going to use a spoon to pour it in. Usually I'll use like a cup that has like the little, um, the tip of the cup and make it easier to drop. But since I'm not doing that today, I'm going to be using the spoon to help me out. But you guys see how gorgeous that color is. And by the way, when you guys are using that on a lip gloss, it all depends on your preference. So if you want to add more for it to be more pigmented, you could do that. And if you want to add less, you could also do that. So while doing this, I messed up on something. So I realized that I did not put the stoppers on the bottle. So right here, I closed it without putting the stoppers. And I didn't realize that until later on. So I did go back and found my stoppers. As you guys will see on the next clip, I had to... So I lost two bottles right there. So I had to pour the pigment into different bottles and then use the stopper because the cap of it was already submerged in red and the fact that i unscrewed it so don't make that mistake but this is how the colors came out and i can't wait to s start selling those during our launch so right here is a quick little example of what it looks like when making lip gloss so i'm gonna take my versa gel and a little bit of coconut oil and i'm gonna add that in there and we're gonna mix and mix and mix like i said before the pigmentation is uh up to you guys so right here that's when i realized that i forgot to add the stopper but we're gonna mix this and look how pretty the color came out to be and i also added a little bit more drops so we could see um 
how pigmented it gets but it all depends on you guys so yeah the and also this is a swatch of what it looks like on my hands i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you ne guys next time bye